Hey everyone, it's Alexander Skin Brassine here with another poetry vlog video. It has been about seven years since my last video. Not sure why it took so long for me to get back to this, but here I am, back and refreshed, a little bit older and in different circumstances, but I'm here to do what I do love most, and that's read my poetry to you. So I hope you enjoy. The first one is called Cult. Beauty in the face of evil, blood red walls all around me. I fall to his will, and so do the people. We are being led to slaughter while he tells his lies at the steeple. My heart pounding, breath so shallow, eyes watery, he stands in my shadow. Eyes red and full of contempt, Bible in hand, says he's been sent to free us of ourselves and that we may repent to a false god idolized by people who attempt to free themselves of all their misdeeds. He lies to us all, pretending to be our savior, but he's nothing but a symptom of our behavior sent to punish us for being a non-believer of a satanic cult. Um, I wrote this about a year ago. Looks like. Um, I think it was based off of a video game I played. So, there's that. Um, the next one is called Normal. Alright, here we go. I feel it pouring in the anger and resentment, the unique ache of disappointment, anxiety and depression, panic disorders, constant repression. What the hell am I to do? My life's a mess, and they know it too. I cry and pass out from all this anxiety that comes about. Why can't I be normal? All right, and the next one is the other road. Let me find that one. Here it is. You figure I'd have all this, you know, set up, but I really don't. All right, the other road. Hand in hand, I follow you down the path less traveled. The more I fight, the more you pull, dragging me all the way through. I resist and you persist that I continue on. The darkest path I can take with you now being gone. That was a kind of a ode to Robert Frost's The Road Not Taken. I kind of made my own version of it that I thought was a little better. But nothing's better than Robert Frost's version. So. And the last one is called Life is Too Short. This one was written in 2012. I think I wrote this one in one of my poetry classes. Which that class sucked. That didn't get much done. Okay. Life's too short. Take a chance. Go out on a whim. Life's too short not to try and win. A few days short and that's enough. Time is time. We'll live through the stuff. One year later, I'm still here. Facing down the life I used to fear. Now I live for what is now. Letting not the past control what's future bound. Five years later, I've passed on. A legacy of love and giving now gone. It's said that time heals wounds, yet scarring never fades. So may time may heal, but some things never change. Ten years pass, my children are older. They live with their wives and now are bolder. I've taught them well and gave them morals, fed them truths and gave them stories of horror. So now that I'm gone, I know my seeds will pass on because I taught my children well and they can decipher heaven from hell. <clears throat> well, okay, so, well, I think that's all I got today. Um, I know it's a little bit of a short vlog today, but uh, don't got a lot of time and I don't have much for you today. I haven't really researched a lot of what I've written. I have a lot of stuff that I've written, 
that I still have to go through. So I thought I'd just make a little tiny blog about everything that's been going on and all the little tiny poetries that actually sound good that I've edited. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, like below, subscribe. Um, and that's all I got for you today. Thank you. Bye.